Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So today we're going to be talking about bedtime fragrances. I very recently had somebody ask about bedtime fragrances and I said, you know what, let me just make a whole video. I definitely have plenty. There are so many different fragrances I wear to bed, but these are ones that I go back to over and over again. They're just like staple bedtime fragrances. So anyways, I've got a ton here. I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with, this is a fragrance that kind of became a, a bedtime fragrance for me. Mm about a year ago. I wear this one quite a lot. It is one of my staples and I absolutely love it. This is Boucheron Iris de Syracuse. I think any kind of an iris fragrance is an amazing bedtime fragrance just because it's super comforting, cozy, powdery, just perfect for bedtime. I love Iris de Syracuse. This one is light. It's a little bit sweet. It's really airy and delicate, but it's still super cozy. It's a little bit powdery. It's just perfect. It's a little bit makeup-y, not so makeup-y that it takes away from the, like the coziness at all. It's just beautiful. It's a perfect perfect bedtime scent and I love it. I wear it to bed all of the time. So that is the first one. Um, these are one, I will wear these anytime too. These aren't just bedtime scents. I wear all of these fragrances, as normal fragrances too, but they are just fragrances that I wear to bed a lot. So that is the first one. That is Boucheron Iris de Syracuse. I can get maybe four or so hours out of this one on its own. Um, before I would need to reapply. So this is a fragrance that you will have to reapply, you know, every once in a while, but it's not awful. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Again, Iris de Syracuse from Boucheron. This next one, I love all of my Shalimars for bedtime. I think Shalimar makes an amazing bedtime scent. Um, I specifically love this one though. This is Shalimar. This is the Eau de Toilette formulation and I love this formulation of Shalimar. My beautiful friend just sent me the I think it's Shalimar Cologne, and it's actually really similar to the Eau de Toilette, so um, that one would be great too. Um, I just love it. There, It's very vintage smelling. It's This is not a fragrance that is for everybody. I love it. It's such a powerhouse of a fragrance. It's so dark and rich and spicy and resinous. Even with this one, I get a little bit of that kind of burnt rubber note, but that goes away once it gets on skin. The original formulation, the Eau de Parfum, has, is really, really strong. Um, for me, it's got that burnt rubber note really, really strongly in it, which is what kind of turns me off from the Eau de Parfum. But the Eau de Toilette is just gorgeous. It's warm, it's cozy, it's perfect for bedtime, though I will wear this in the daytime as well. Um, I'll wear this anytime. This is one that at this point, I've I've got a, quite a few Shalimars, so, you know, this one I kind of um, ration because I am getting pretty low on this one. I absolutely love it though. It's such a perfect bedtime scent. Um, you can get Shalimar for relatively very inexpensive at this point on any of the discount sites. So anyways, that is Shalimar Eau de Toilette formulation. This is nuclear. You will smell like this until you take a shower and wash it off. It's so good. Um, so anyways, that is Shalimar. And then on the complete opposite set of, <laughs> end of the spectrum, you've got this one here. This is Pacifica Silver Moon. This is one that I only wear to bed because this is a very frustrating fragrance for me. I absolutely love the way that this smells. It reminds me a lot of warm vanilla sugar. Yes. It's very, it's, well, I don't wanna say it's like super similar. It's similar to warm vanilla sugar. It's got a lot of almond in it though, so it's a really almond heavy vanilla. It's so beautiful, but it lasts all of five minutes on, seriously. I mean, you spray it on and five minutes later, you're not gonna smell anything. It's really, really frustrating, so I usually will spray this on like literally right before I'm gonna get in bed. I'll enjoy it for a little bit and then I'll fall asleep. It's a it's a beautiful fragrance, but it's so, one of the worst performers in my collection. It's so bad. So anyways, that is Pacifica Silver Moon. This next one, I love to wear this fragrance anytime, but I love it for bedtime. There's something so cozy and perfect for bedtime with this one. This is Cacherel Noah. This is such a strange little fragrance. It's got such a weird little note breakdown, but I love it. This is an Eau de Toilette. This is the smallest little 30 ml bottle I've ever seen too. It's such a little tiny bottle. 
Um, I love everything about it though. I love the bottle, I love the little pearl in it, I love the sprayer, I love everything about this perfume. This one is very vintage, late 90s, early 2000s smelling. It's so good. It's, it's light and delicate and warm and cozy. It's got like green notes in it, it's got coffee in it, it's got this weird little note breakdown but I love everything about this because it's got a vintage vibe to it. It smells like the late 90s, early 2000s. I adore it, I absolutely adore it. It's perfect, again, for any time, but I love it for bedtime. This one is performs really well for me. Um, I don't really know, I don't know that I've had anybody else really tell me how it performs on them, but on me, this one performs really, really well. I can get a good six to eight hours out of it easily. I love it. I absolutely love it. And in fact, I'm going to keep this one out and I'm going to wear it this week because I love it. I just wore it not long ago, but I feel like I need to wear it again. So anyways, that is Noah from Cacherelle. It's such a beauty. I'm like dying to get my hand on some of the flankers. I've heard really good things about the flankers. Okay, this next one, this is such a weird bedtime scent because it's such a powerhouse of a fragrance. But I'm not the only one that wears this one to bed. I've had several other people tell me that they love this scent for bed and none of us really know why we love it for bedtime because it's so strong, but there's something really warm and cozy about it. Um, this is YSL Libre Intense. I love this for bedtime. In fact, this is one of my favorite bedtime scents. I wear this to bed so often like so often and I love it because it's so strong. It's still really, really strong when you wake up the next morning. I mean, it, when you wake up the next morning, it still smells like you just put on your perfume. So I love it. Sometimes I love that, sometimes I don't. If I, you know, there's sometimes when you don't want to wake up smelling like you just sprayed perfume on, um, but then there are other times that you do. But I love this. This is the most beautiful syrupy lavender orange blossom vanilla fragrance ever. It's my favorite formulation of this. I love it. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I rave about this perfume all of the time um, and I just adore it. It's one of my favorite bedtime scents ever and I wear it all of the time and thank goodness I have a backup bottle of this. It's amazing. So anyways, that is why I sell Libre Intense. This next one, this is another one that I usually only wear to bed. This is Zara Violet Blossom. So when I smell it on its own, this is just cherry, cherry blossom, magnolia, and tonka bean, I believe. And when I just smell this on its own, I really don't get Ely Sob Girl of Now. But I did a whole video comparing this to Ely Sob Girl of Now, and when they're side by side, they smell literally almost identical, which was mind blowing for me because I never really associated the two at all. But when you get them side by side, they really are identical. But on its own, I really just get this beautiful like cherry blossom and tonka fragrance. It's sweet, it's warm, it's cozy. This one really has gotten so much better with age. Golly, I've used so much of my bottle. I've got I've used about a third of it, which for me seems like a lot, and I don't think you can get this one anymore. I have, I feel like they've reformulated it. It's been repackaged, so I just have a feeling it's been reformulated. Um, I love this scent. For me, I wear this mostly to bed. I used to only be able to get like maybe three to four hours out of this. I can get like five, six, seven hours out of this now. Um, like I said before, it's just, it's aged really, really well, and it wears way better now. I just love it. It's a beautiful scent. It's super cozy, sweet, and I love it. I love it as a bedtime scent. So that is Zara Violet Blossom. Okay, this next one, this is another one. I'll wear this anytime, but I love wearing this one to bed. It's such a perfect bedtime scent. This is a fragrance from Armoff, and this is called Enchanted Katerina Light Blue. Um, this is a fragrance that sat and sat and sat for, it. this was in a declutter box for like a year and a half. Um, I had it listed on Mercari and it just like never sold. Um, and I'm so glad it never sold. That was like, <laughs> that was fate because I pulled it out like, I don't know, a year and a half after, maybe even two years after it had been sitting in the box and the color of it had completely changed. It had deepened up so much. The reason I decluttered it in the first place was because it was such a poor performer, but it's like, ooh, it's deepened up and it's just, it's better now. 
it's way better than it was when I first bought it and I love this. This is a clone of YSL Manifesto Eclat, maybe? YSL Manifesto Eclat, I believe. It's beautiful. It smells like a sweeter, more Tonka heavy manifesto is what it smells like and I adore it. So I've got like two manifesto smell likes and two bottles of the real manifesto. I'm like good in manifesto for a long time. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's an amazing bedtime scent. It still doesn't perform great. I still can only get a few hours out of it. It's so inexpensive though that it's fine. And back then when I decluttered it, I was really like, I was still working, you know, 10, 12 hour days. I was out of the house for like 13 hours a day. I just did not have the patience or tolerance for perfumes that didn't, per, you know, that didn't last at least six hours at that time. So I was just really harsh and I decluttered it. Um, but now I don't care because I'm home all the time. I can set it out and I can reapply it every 15 minutes if I want to. So now I'm, I'm a lot more forgiving with perfumes that don't perform super well, but I love this. It's an amazing bedtime scent. So that is our Moth Enchanted Katarina Light Blue. This next one is an amber scent and this is an amazing bedtime amber. This is a fragrance from Parfums Gray, I think is how you say that, Perfume Gray. This is a fragrance called Etat de Grace. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful, really vanilla heavy amber. I love it so much. In fact, in this last, what I wore last week video, I talked about a fragrance called Black Amber. It was an oil and it was from, it was a sample from Lucky Scent from a house called, I think Michelle or Michelle Bankman maybe, something like that. I don't know, but it was a niche fragrance. This is really, really similar to that fragrance and this is not niche and not very expensive. I love this. I picked this up uh, off of Mercari secondhand and I adore this perfume. It's beautiful. Um, again, really vanilla heavy, very vanilla heavy amber. I love it. I This is, if I'm gonna reach for an amber for bedtime, this is the one that I reach for because it's got that a ton of vanilla in it and I love it. It's still a kind of traditional, slightly musty smelling amber, which is my favorite kind of amber. Um, think of like a traditional amber, like an amber paste. That's what I am talking about when I say like a traditional smelling amber. Um, but this has a ton of vanilla in it. So it's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit less resinous smelling. Um, it's just, it's, ugh, it's a little bit lighter. It's just an amazing amber. I love it. It's perfect for bedtime, super cozy, comforting. This one I can get a good six to seven hours out of or so. Um, it wears really, really well and it's just beautiful. It's an amazing amber scent. If you want like a good alternative to, um, Lardasan, Lo de Ombre Extreme, this is a good alternative, or even Histoire de Parfums, um, Ombre 114. This isn't like as quite as rich smelling as those, but it's this is still an amazing alternative to those fragrances. It's an it's just a beautiful amber scent. So, anyways, that is from Parfum Gray, and that is called Etat de Grace. Next, we have a vanilla fragrance. This is, I wear this one to bed quite a bit, and I think this one is very comforting to me because it's like an old signature of mine. I used to wear this back in the kind of mid 2000s. Um, this is a fragrance from La Vanilla, and this is called Pure Vanilla. This is a really complex, perfumey vanilla. I absolutely adore this fragrance. This is either a love or hate for people. Um, people that love it are like me and they really, really love it. But then there are people out there that have tried it and they really, really hate it. Um, there's really no in between. I absolutely adore it. It's a beautiful, sweet vanilla, but it's very complex. It's got some flowers in it and it's really perfumey. But to me, it's like a cozy, comforting scent and I love wearing it to bed. This thing is an absolute beast. I get a good eight to 10 hours out of this perfume. It's awesome for $48 too. I mean, full price, this perfume is $48. And I think it is such an amazing quality perfume for that price. I picked mine up secondhand off of Mercari. This is the original formulation. I have had a bottle of the new formulation though, and the new formulation is amazing. In fact, this might be a fragrance that went through a repackaging, but didn't necessarily get reformulated because I didn't really see a difference between the new 
packaging and the old packaging as far as how the fragrance performed or smelled. So it's such a good one. If you're a vanilla lover, I highly recommend anything in this entire line. Um, these are very clean perfumes as well. So these are not like super toxic, not like a lot of the other perfumes that, you know, we use. I mean, this right here is probably incredibly toxic. It's probably got a ton of endocrine disruptors in it. It's probably really, really bad to put on your skin. This beauty, however, is not. This one, again, is clean, it's beautiful, it's made with very high quality ingredients and um, materials, and it's ugh, perfection. I love it. So anyways, that is La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. Okay, these last two, well, these are the last two perfumes I'm gonna talk about. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on them because I just talked about these in my lavender video. I don't know which one is gonna go at first, but I don't wanna you know, talk your ear off about these. This one is Oscar de la Renta Lavender. I love this perfume. This has been my go-to bedtime perfume for mm, a couple years now. I've backed off of this though because sadly this has gotten incredibly expensive. It's gotten very difficult to find. Um, so yeah, I don't use it a ton anymore because it is one of my favorite bedtime scents and one of my favorite lavenders ever. It's a beautiful, sweet, milky lavender. It smells like a lavender latte, like a lavender tea, like a milky, sweet, warm, comforting lavender tea. Gosh, I love it so, so much. So yeah, that is my go-to bedtime fragrance, or it used to be until I backed off of it, but that is Oscar de la Renta Lavender. And then this is Lancome Lavon's Trianon. This is another scent that I wear to bed a ton. Um, I usually will just spray on one small spray just on, like, on the front of me and then that is good. I will still smell like this when I wake up the next morning, almost like I had just, like I just applied it. It's super, super strong. It's a gorgeous powdery lavender and sweet syrupy vanilla. It's a really, really strong rich fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like if you didn't like this, this would give you a headache because it's so strong. Um, but I absolutely love it and I especially love wearing it to bed. It's so, it's just so cozy and comforting and beautiful. So that is Lancome Lavon's Trianon. And then lastly, I do wear a ton of my oils to bed at night. A lot of the time I will just reach for an oil. Um, I wear a lot of my, my Astero oils to bed. I also reach for a lot of my sweet essentials. So this one, this rice flour and shea, this is a great bedtime one because it's, it's not super strong and it doesn't last very long, so it's good to wear to bed. Um, I also, I just wore this one too. This is the Dreamy Vanilla Type from Victoria's Secret, so Dreamy Vanilla. And I absolutely love this one. It's, um, gosh, it's a beautiful, yummy, gourmand-leaning vanilla. It's amazing. And then also this one here, Soothing Vanilla Milk. And these aren't the only ones that I wear. These are just ones that were on top that I pulled. This is another one that's awesome. This is like a, this is almost like a soothing bubble bath. It almost smells like a perfumey vanilla milk bath. It's got this really beautiful cleanliness to it. It's really, really good. This one's super, super strong too. The Soothing Vanilla Milk, you don't have to put on very much because it's really, really potent. Um, these two, this is kind of midway potent and then the rice flour and shea is just almost, you know, it's very, very delicate. Dreamy, Dreamy Vanilla is like, eh, it's there. It's, it wears pretty close to the skin, but you know, you can smell it. The Soothing Vanilla Milk is like, whoa, it's, um, it's really strong. It's like a really strong, again, beautiful vanilla soapy milk bath. I love it. I love, these are just easy, super easy to reach for. You don't have to think about it. Just grab one and put it on. Um, I love the Bakery from Astero. I love Swallow Me from Astero. Those are two that I absolutely love wearing to bed. Um, any of my Astero oils, though, I just love. I, I just love them. <laughs> So anyways, you guys, those are a lot of the bedtime fragrances that I like to wear. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.